I like the sound. I like the I like the sound. Although there was a critique. There was. There was a critique. We had a critique like over the holidays? Yes. What was it? Um, that on the Clayton episode. There's an echo. That you and I were at first too like you and I were not that we were too loud. We were yeah. too normal. Yeah. And Clayton was they couldn't hear Clayton. So then they turned up and you and I talk with our booming voices and it would be Yeah. I ran into some problems with that one. Yeah. Yeah. There was like a there was an echo. Yeah. There was an echo. We picked up a lot of echo, and I turned on these, um, there are these built-in, uh, what are they called? Uh, it's like a filter where if there's quiet space in the background, I can't remember what, okay. noise gate, noise gate. Oh. So you can turn a noise gate on, and it can basically, like any of the space that we're not talking, and it's just like dead air, yeah. it, can, it can drop out and go to zero. So you can turn that on. And you can increase like how far intense you make it. Right. And so for that episode, I had to do that quite a lot. Oh no. And so I have a feeling that well, it 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 made him like it quiet. like it quieted right. him a little bit. At the end, apparently it was fine. So okay. so something must have happened at the end that made it that it worked itself worked out. Worked itself out. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Clayton's too loud anyway. So we need to turn him down. I mean, if we had given the world full Clayton on their first Clayton Oof. episode. I have a feeling well, they wouldn't let us bring him back. They'd be like, okay, look, he was great and all, but my speakers in my car exploded. <laughs> my AirPods <laughs> in my ears blew up. Yeah. Because we all know that Clayton is 10 decibels louder than you and I. Than everyone. Yes. Yes. We love you, Clayton. <laughs> oh, this is live. Yeah, we're live. Okay. He's going to hear all this. Okay. But he, it's, this you is know, no surprise. He, he should hear this. He should hear this. Yeah. Well, and the funny thing is, is we get louder when we're with Clayton. Like if Clayton is with us... Then we get louder. Well, how many times is my wife? How many times is come, my wife come out in the middle of the night when mm-hmm. we're having one of our midnight ragers, mm-hmm. like we do, like we do, uh, and 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 said she silence. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's what that is. What is uttered? Yeah, because we're the noisy boys. We're the noisy boys. <laughs> The that noisy, would be a great gang for the noisy us, right? Boys. We're the noisy boys. <laughs> we're the noisy boys. If we, if, I, if, we were, if we were with the noisy boys, mm-hmm. we'd need to put on more weight. I okay. feel like we'd need to put on more weight and wear shirts backwards. Way ahead of you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the noisy boys with their, their backwards shirts. Yeah, yeah, backwards sure. shirts and like a hat backwards. Yeah. And, then, and then, you know, I've got the bright red shoes on, so yeah. that works. Uh, and, then, and then just a lot. A lot I, think, I think we'd need to be... Very overweight. Yeah. To be well, the noisy boys. I feel like I the, no- the Noisy Boys sounds like a gang in a cartoon in the 1980s. Yeah. Like you're watching Heathcliff. Oh, and he's like, gotcha. he's, okay. he's like, he's like, oh no, it's those blasted Noisy Boys. <laughs> <laughs> and they come in like, hey, where's your lunch money? You know? Yeah. <laughs> sounds like that. I could be that too. Yeah. I'd be a great, a great bad guy. <laughs> great bad guy. I think I, I can be awful. No. Yeah. Yes. I could do it. You're a great actor. What? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, it's cloudy, finally. It is cloudy. It's been, it was warm this it's morning a little chance bit. chance of meatballs, I think. But yeah. I would like more on. meatballs. Mm-hmm. There haven't been any meat. But well, we had some meatballs over the holidays, but barely any meatballs. I know. I'm ready for some rain. Come on. I know. Come I know. on. I know. You guys, for the people who listen in parts of the world that rain. We apologize. All the time. Yeah. For us, it's a treat. It's a big treat here. When we get rain, it changes the way the air feels. It, uh, it, it puts Me, snow on our mountains. We can drink and shower. Yeah. It just, yeah. it's great. It just, it, it gives us water. Yeah. And, uh, I miss it when it's not here. And so we, we here in SoCal long for precipitation. We do. Mm-hmm. Cause we get none. We get none. Which can I think you, is why people move here. Can you hear yourself? Okay. Are you yeah, worried about it? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm looking at, I'm just making sure my, my, uh, you know how I feel about waveforms. And you feel strongly. I feel strongly about waveforms and I just want to make sure my waveforms are. Well, your microphone's being held up by a side. rubber band now. So that is that, what, is that what's <laughs> affecting my waveforms? <laughs> what did I do to my microphone? You didn't do, look, look at mine. Mine too. Oh, they're both? Both. Both, el- both elastic bands. For folks at home, look, this is technical stuff, and maybe you don't care. Yeah. But these microphones are held up by what it, most similarly could be compared to a girl's elastic hair tie. Like, it, okay. it was held up by that thing. Okay. And over the time that we've done this show, all the yelling, yelling. and we do, we intense yell. talking. So much intensity. And joy. And so laughter, much joy. Melts yeah. them 
completely, oh. and they just gave out. So we now have new. So now, if these just snap, are they going to fall in our it'll, lap? It'll fall in our lap. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Would you expect anything less from the Biofriendly Podcast? I mean, this than... is the kind of quality podcast. Uh, bo- <laughs> podcast? Podcast? Podcast. Quality podcast we bring to you. Podcasts are our podcasts that try to get you up. <laughs> just try to get up with the get little electricity, a little jolt. Yeah. <laughs> the best podcast uh, in the world. Well, yes. Hi. Hey. This is uh this is uh So five minutes of nonsense. Yeah, five minutes of which everybody. I mean look, it's twenty twenty one. We didn't say we were gonna change the format. No, we did. It's a new year, but it's not a new us. It would be rude if we did. Right. Yeah. People expect a certain level of mediocrity. Like a certain <laughs> level of bad. <laughs> no, you love us, don't you? No, they love us. That's sweet. Call now. Um I am going to do a topic today. Okay. And I think it's gonna be beautiful. Is it? It's going to be great. Yeah? It's going to be beneficial. <laughs> beneficial. Bees. Beneficial. I was just trying to come up with B words. B. It's going to be. I get it. It's yeah. going to be great. It's We're gonna talking be about be wonderful. It's going to be beneficial. <laughs> it's just really, uh, really scraping the barrel for that one. No, but you may be asking yourself. Where have I been? <laughs> <laughs> you may be asking yourself in your head. You may be saying, but Jacob... Haven't we already done bees? Did I that, think we have. Yeah. N- no. Cancel. No. What? No. We haven't done bees? Not to the fullest. Okay. You know how sometimes we do a podcast and we say something, we, we talk about it for a few minutes and you go, we should, we, we should, should one do, of these days, like really bananas, bananas, Banana, uh, remember? That was a good we one. We brought up bananas and then we were like, let's do bananas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I had the thought this morning, I thought about bees and I was yeah. like, oh, we did bees. We did bees. And I did something that I've never done before. Okay. I went back and I listened to an old episode. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you never listened to old episodes. Never. I couldn't be bothered. You couldn't be bothered with this show. There are 97 prior episodes of this. That's a lot to go through. That's true. That's I fair. was just, I was scrolling and through. And you also have heard them many times before they're even released. I do, but yet they still, I mean, here's the, okay, here's the crazy thing. They yeah. still, even though I do hear them many more times after we record because I put it together, yeah. but then they still disappear. There's just too many. Well, it's just too many. My my nieces, you know, mm-hmm. my kids, different. Like so, the, uh, people will play the, play them for me. Like, oh, I love this one, and they'll play a podcast, and then I'll hear the podcast. Yeah. And I swear to God, I don't. I have no. You're like, what? No when did this happen? Of anything that we I know, said. Yeah. I know, and that's what yeah, happened yeah. with this. Is yeah. I scrolled through. And I looked at all the titles, and I was like, there's no B in any title. No. So then I was reading the descriptions, and I was like, oh, okay, here it is. Right. So almost a year ago, a little under, in mm-hmm. February of 2020, we did an episode called It's it's it was, It's was Not Always Climate Change. It was the one that was like, sometimes these headlines are like, it's climate change, climate change, and it wasn't. Right. You know? And that was the infamous uh, Jellyfish Blackout episode. Jellyfish Blackout yes. episode. Yes. Uh. And so in that episode, we talked about coral reefs. We talked about jellyfish. And then we talked about a uh, colony collapse disorder with right. bees. And that was right. the only thing we covered. Interesting. So we didn't talk we about We didn't talk bees. about no. anything else. We didn't talk about what they do. Nope. We didn't talk about, no. about how they're doing now. No. We, we didn't talk about... No. What, nothing? We couldn't be bothered. We couldn't be bothered. <laughs> no. Actually, we, it was a great show. Really? I'll tell you. It was. It was a great show because... Did we belittle <laughs> climate change? <laughs> we didn't belittle. No? We did not belittle it. Okay. But it was interesting to watch because I watched the video version, which you guys should too because we're incredibly handsome. Yeah, um, yeah. And it enhances the experience. But I was watching the episode. We're bedazzling. <laughs> we're, <laughs> keep them coming. <laughs> okay. Keep them coming. All right. There's a villain from the old, uh, there's a villain from the old Batman series back, the Adam West one. Yeah. And he's an egg guy. Okay. He, and he, everything he says are egg puns. Like, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> this is exactly. How come I don't remember that guy? I don't know. Somebody else had to tell me about him. Yeah. It was my, it was a guy I used to work with and he told wow. me the story. So anyway, back okay. to the point. Yeah. Yes. Great episode, and I watched it, and it was February 20th. Uh, to- See, look at your waveforms. Oh, I'm so loud. How come my waveforms are so small? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a subject for a different podcast. <laughs> well, here, hold on. I- I'm going to turn you up a little bit. Okay, yeah? ready? Yeah, yeah, hold on. You can do it in post, too. <gasps> oh, my God. Now you're really... I hear me. Okay, okay. So now... I'm breathtaking. And I'll, bo- I'll boost you up into this point so that it never happened and you It'll sound like a crazy again. person. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. Wow. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, good. Wow. Sorry. So, what, were, what were we talking about? I was watching the episode. It's February 2020. Okay. And let me tell you something. It was interesting to watch us doing this podcast in February of 2020 before 
so much in the world changed. Really? You well, know what I mean? Because like we, it, were, we were, there was hope. There was, we were we just were alive. We were just, you know, doing our normal silly selves. Mm. But, but I was watching these two guys sitting here with no idea that in like three weeks time, their world was going to change. <laughs> it was going to change. Wow. And that we were going to work from home and zoom would change. And the kids would go home from school. We were just, we were coming back from our green biz trip yeah. and we were talking in our DC trip. And we've yeah. been, we've been world travelers at this point. I mean, we, we thought, we, we thought the we, world was at our fingertips. It was at our fingertips. All these great things were ahead of us. We Ooh, had, the, you know, I mean, it, we, all but, these <laughs> opportunities with the business, things are so good. And then, and then, all fell apart. All fell apart. We're closing the business. <laughs> <and gentlemen. No. laughs> the podcast is the only thing that will go on from our from the streets. Uh, no, 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 no. Everything it was, it was great. Was, you know, we, we we survived. We fought. We, we fought through like everyone else. We did, or like most else. For those that didn't, I'm I'm sorry. Yes, and yeah. and we're gonna get through it. We are absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But we, but I decided I was like, okay, well, there's a lot about bees that we haven't touched on because you do hear. That bees are important. You do. Have you heard that before? I have heard that. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I've heard once or twice that bees are important. Yeah. Well, and remember when we did the feel good uh, movies episode with our friend Sean Coney? Oh, that was pretty Sean recently. Coney. How could I forget? How could you forget, Mr. Coney? Um, Mr. Coney said that there's not a lot of environmental films, and then he yeah. was re- remembering Fern Gully and Wally. Well, the B movie it's is totally, absolutely an environmental, environmental film, film yeah. right? Absolutely, absolutely yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah, that's if you haven't seen the B movie, that's uh, Jerry Seinfeld voicing a B, and in the film he he stops, he kind of ends the B activities, right? Yeah. He kind of I can't I don't remember exactly. He's just like, well, it's a deal with yeah. bees. And yeah, he decides he wants to live a normal life. He that's want, right. He doesn't want to be. He doesn't want to be, <laughs> want to be. a regular bee. Right. He wants like, well, how come he has to do the same, this, this right. specific job that he's been given as a bee? Right. Uh, That's the story. Can't he do more? And yeah. So on. And yeah. the moral of the story is you can never escape what you're told to do and you should just And you do will it. ruin the world if you try to, to <laughs> step try out to your, on your own. Yeah, yeah, don't no. stand on your own two feet. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's, but then he does this and other bees fall, follow suit and then the whole environment collapses. People lose their crops. We are, the world's dying and it's all because we lost bees. And that's kind of not too far from the truth if, if we were to lose bees because they are crucial. It would cost a, a lot. Tr- like billions and billions of dollars to replace yeah. the effort that bees give us yeah. just by living their lives. Yeah, because they pollinate 85% yeah. of the crops that humans eat. Yeah. 85%. Yeah, I mean, well, it's in its. Right, so and it's pretty pretty simple deal, right? But they they you know they 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 collect their pollen, mm-hmm. and in the process mm-hmm. they fly to the next flower and they fly to the next flower and they go back and they move they move around. Yeah. And while they're doing that, they get you know they get pollen they get, they get pollen everywhere. Yeah. They move everywhere. And it's just like they're just and they're just minding their own business. They're just trying to do their thing, man. They're trying to be a just bee. Trying to be. They're just trying, trying to, to be to be, be or not to be. Right. That is the question. You don't have to pay them. No. You don't have to. You don't have to ask them. No, they're good workers. They just get to it. It's they like get it's, to this it. is their life. This is what they're all about. And then they handle it. And then and then you make more flowers and you make more plants. You make yeah. more crops. You make more trees. They're great. You make more everything. They're great. But I had, I had growing up, and I wanted to ask you. I had a complicated relationship with bees because. I, I was often kind of scared of bees as a kid. Is it because they sting? Yeah. Yeah. It hurts. It hurts. You've it been hurts. stung? Yeah, I've been stung. Many, too many times. Too many times. <laughs> I haven't been my girl, but I've been, no. okay. you know. Yeah, no, thankfully I'm not allergic. Yeah, I'm, I am, a, I have to be a fraction allergic to bees. I have to be. Yeah. Because the result of the sting is way more dramatic than anybody else is getting. Like it swells pretty big yeah. when I get stung. But yeah. I don't think, I've never been given that. EpiPen thing. Right. Okay. So it's not fatally allergic, but I definitely got an allergy. But you definitely got, well, yeah. stop, stop getting stung by bees. I've tried, but I keep, uh, yeah. <laughs> They're right. It, no, hasn't, it hurts. It hasn't happened in a Even long time. Allergic or not, when they stay, it's designed to hurt. Yeah. They, like, they, when they die, they fall on their back. Yeah. On purpose. So that they can, so that they one can last, sting you yeah. so that you can remember, don't yeah. mess with the other bees. Yeah. They like Tupac Shakur yes. their way off this earth. They they do. <laughs> they leave they leave everybody sad, yes. crying, yes. wishing that there was more great beat music. Great beat hip hop. Yeah. Um no, but today they want to beat box. <laughs> the that's, bee puns will never stop. It's a good one. I still enjoyed it. Hmm. There is so, but because we are a podcast that's dedicated to like whoa, France. France. <laughs> exactly. 
Today we are going to talk <laughs> about the bees. Then we're going to talk about ways that, that the everyday person can help bees. Yeah. Oh, really? Right? Yeah. That's yeah. a beautiful idea, Jacob. Because that's a good topic. I'm going to enjoy today's podcast. Yeah. So just sit back and I'm relax. I'm just going to listen. Sit back and I'll tell you now about you save the bees. Um, I uh, we when we talked about They're it last week, frogs or donuts, <laughs> and they certainly are not fleas. Exactly. Yeah. They, they, uh, the last episode that we did, they talked about bees. We talked about, uh, cl- colony collapse disorder. Ugh. We talked about, I just totally, I just totally breathed in and snorted a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. The last episode I burped and this one I snorted. Well, Guys, I'm falling apart. You know, you know you're, because you're, because you are trying to be comfortable with the audience. You're trying to be one with the audience. Okay. Yeah. Up next, farts. Uh, yes. Just letting you know. That's not that's, comfortable for me, but that'll be great for the <laughs> audience. They'll love it. Great for no, yeah. but it's good for me. <laughs> um, no, so one of the first things, so I'm going to list, I'm going to open up the podcast um, with things that people can do, everyday people can do to help bees strive, survive, thrive, go on. I did not yawn just then. I did see the yawn, so uh, I'm already I'm, boring you. No, no, it's not that you're boring me. It's that it's, we're doing an afternoon one today, know, ladies and gentlemen. I know. So we get, we're, we're kind of hyping ourselves up. We're trying to, to Come zip, on. It, zip Come on. it up. Put yourself in airplane mode. Airplane mode. <laughs> right? Focused. He's ready. Okay. Plant a bee garden. Okay. Okay. Explain. So one of the largest threats to bees is a lack of a safe habitat where they can build homes and find a variety of nutritious food sources. Okay. By planting a bee garden, you can create a habitat corridor With plants that are rich in pollen and nectar. You don't need a ton of space to grow bee-friendly plants. Gardens can be established across yards and in window boxes, flower pots, and planters. Okay. So you, there are flowers and plants, and it can be a very small collection of them. Yeah. That you don't have to have a giant backyard or yeah. a like a huge garden. So you, you can do can, it in your in your apartment. Yes. Just put you it like put out in the, the window. window of your apartment, mm-hmm. and you can help out the bees. You can help out the bees, That's and great. then they're they're so. Hey, what are some uh, some uh, plants that are rich in? Uh, Let's find out because you, if you don't have it, it's okay. I, what are bee <laughs> bee? Here, I'll find it real quick. Let's we came prepared bee friendly to the bio friendly podcast today. Hold this on. is normally something that. I probably would know off no, the top no. of my head, but I don't. And I apologize to everybody. I just... I I'm, got it. I'm, I got it. The magic of the internet. All right. We okay. We got it that fast. That fast. Okay. So I can list them off. Honeysuckle. Okay. Oh, of course. Sunflower. Okay. Cosmos. Cosmos. Like you just pour a Cosmo into a, into a glass <laughs> yeah, and leave it yeah. outside. Yeah. You get a Cosmopolitan. Okay. Apparently. It's good for the ladies. Yeah. It's good for bees. <laughs> it is. So uh, it's the bee's knees, it's one the might bee's say. Knees. Uh, coneflower, strawberries, dahlia, butterfly bush. Okay. Crocus. How odd that the butterfly bush is a bee flower. Yeah, I know. I think the butterflies would be pretty mad about I that. Know. <laughs> like, excuse like, me. Excuse, this bush is my bush. <laughs> this is my bush. And bees are like, mm, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> you um, might like it, but I find it tasty. <laughs> it's delicious. Mm. So th- those are some flowers. Yeah, so good. I was able to find them. Well, when I was li- uh, reading off the thing, I was like, oh, they didn't list any as I was reading. <sighs> this is, by the way, this is from the Bee Conservancy. Oh, good, 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 so good, good. These good, were people good, that good, know what they're talking good, about. Good, 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 good. Great. Great. Up next. I'm going gonna, gonna to avoid another yawn. Okay. Go chemical free for bees. So synthetic pesticides, fertilizers, herbicides, and mm. neonic... Neonicotinoids. <laughs> I can't say this word. I don't know what it is. It's the word neon. Yeah. So N E O N. Yeah. I C O. Okay. Neon Nico. Yeah. Then tenoids. Wow. Neonicotinoids. Maybe that was it. Neonicotinoids. Neonicotinoids. Yeah. Neon- hey, you said it flawlessly the first Neonicotoids. time. Neonicotinoids. Yeah. That is good. That's a good word. Neonicotinoids. <laughs> we can't forget neonicotoids. You want to say neonicotoids that's at the a, end of the show? That's beautiful word. Oh, that's great. Neonicotoids. It is a good word. We're filled with we, we don't we don't no we banish them right because yeah, they uh, don't want no them. more no more neonicotoids. No more neonicotoids. That's it. Can okay. we add it? No more. We have right, to. You guys remind us at the end you of the remind, show. It's, call it's, in and remind us. No, no more, more neonicotoids. Um, they're harmful to bees. Okay. Wreaking havoc. I love that word, havoc. Mm. It's a great word. Wreaking havoc on their sensitive systems. Avoid treating your garden and green spaces with synthetics. Instead, <laughs> use... Stop treating your garden <laughs> like some frat house. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop going out to your garden just being like, yeah, woo! <laughs> the on everything! <laughs> it's all day, every day! 
So instead, use organic products and natural solutions such as compost to aid soil health and adding beneficial insects that keep pests away like ladybugs and praying mantises. I See, I knew that praying mantis that scared the ever living heck out of me when I saw it. I was, I was, yeah. <laughs> my kids will you tell you, a, they you saw a, me. You have I a was, traumatic praying mantis story? Uh, I mean, I love them. I think they're I, just I think wonderful. They're so cool. I think they're wonderful. So cool. You know, little bugs, but yeah. not bugs, insects. Yeah. But, um, but maybe they're bugs. I don't know. They're not bugs. They're insects. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was, I was, <laughs> I was, uh, going up to the garage and yeah. I turned on a light in the garage and then, you know, and the light wasn't working. So yeah. I put my hand around the back. I was trying to figure out. And then I, I reached down and I turned and the light bulb wasn't there. And I, and I turned the light bulb on and it goes yeah. on. And on the face of the light bulb is the... <laughs> it's, it's a pregnant mantis. Praying mantis. And it was a full grown oh mama. Oh my gosh, yeah. And I jumped. Uh, of I course. Ju- I was startled. Of like, I was so... It was out of my mind. I was like, wah! And they are, the they are intense me. angles. They are. They are angles. That, yeah. that is an insect yeah. that is all angles. Yeah. And anything that angular, you're kind of like, Gugh. Yike! Yeah. And, and they've got large heads, large oh, heart-shaped totally. heads. And you're like, wowzer! Yeah. Look at yeah. you. And then, you, plus, you know that they eat men. So yeah. I, so that also scared me. So I was like, also, you, were, you so like, you immediately I, were like, I'm just a lady turning uh, on my garage. <laughs> I'm just a lady turning on my Definitely garage. Definitely not light. a guy. I am not here to cause problems for you. <laughs> Okay. Just a summer lady. So that's what is <laughs> defending yourself. I don't know. I wanted um, to be a southern lady. With of course, a fan. you want to be a southern belle in the heat. Get yeah. some lemonade. Kind of yourself. Georgia peach. Yeah. So you, you, uh, ladybugs and praying mantises are important because mm. they keep away pests that would ta- would ruin the plants yeah. for the bees. That's great. Yeah. So you need ladybugs. More ladybugs. Need... More praying mantises. Yeah. Keep them in the in the yard. Okay. Ladybugs and praying mantises. Girl power. That's that is just like, awesome. It's like, woohoo. Yeah. I mean, are ladybugs ladies? I don't even well, know. Well, do you remember the, did you watch A Bug's Life? Um, Yeah, the character was the, the ladybug. ladybug that's dude. like, eh, eh. <laughs> He's yeah. a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember <laughs> yeah. that. That's yeah. great. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Call man. now. Yeah. Um, um, no, uh, this is, uh, I'm, 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 I, I, I'm. I'm, f- I'm falling blank on so many answers to these questions. I apologize, no, Jacob. It's, it's I'm not okay. On, not it's on the ball today. It's okay. It's okay. You don't always have to be. Okay. Because we're not only here to teach, we're here to educate ourselves. We're here to learn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So then... Well, let's keep buzzing along, shall we? Uh, up next, uh, this is one that we've covered. Uh, 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 part three, become a citizen scientist. Yes. So like we covered before oh, with Mark. Oh, yes. With Dr. Mark, it was... It was um, you know, you go uh, join a global movement to collect data on your favorite pollinators, yeah. the bees. And this is cool. There was something called, now it looked like in 2019, it was in person. Yeah. In 2020, it was virtual online. So I'm imagining again, but there's a thing called the bee blitz. Ooh. The bee blitz. And the it's a, it's blitz. a citizen science. A man in the back and everybody's Exa- the, 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 the bee blitz. Bee room blitz. <laughs> bee room blitz. Okay. <laughs> yes. So totally. That's exactly what I thought of first yeah. was the uh, bee, bee room blitz. Uh, so bee blitz, there's going to be a 2021 one. And it's basically a c- citizen scientist program where they have you go out and take pictures and report and record bees in your area, and then you upload, and then that way they can collect more data. So there's going to be another one I this summer. That's something that I think we we I, well, I think when Mark was here, yeah, uh, Dr. Chandler, right, Dr. Chandler, yeah, yes, um, when he was on the show, you know, we, we we talked about it a little bit, but it's something that definitely reinforced that that the uh, citizen science helps. It does. Like if you if you Big as time. a person can do the simple simple things like measuring temperatures or counting yeah. bees or what what like there's just little little basic things. Yeah, you give more data, and yeah. that's that's what science needs. It's data. so helpful the because they can't they be have, there. They yeah. can't be everywhere at once, they right? They can't. That's but if right. you're if you're doing it, they're, you're giving them a field study without them having to even right. go go to that. Location. And you feel like, well, this is stupid. I'm just holding a thermometer to a rock. It's like, no, no. Yeah, like, I get it, but maybe <laughs> yeah. you feel stupid. But that's that it's is helpful. Si- that is science. Yeah. <laughs> so citizen science. The more is something, data they have, the better yeah. answers they can get. Yeah. That's exactly. it. Sorry. Yeah. But, no, but no, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. Absolutely. To, to, we, we, we loved, uh, you know, Earthwatch and, and Dr. Mark Chandler and having him on the show. And this is reaffirming that with the B Blitz. And the cool thing was the B Blitz that I looked up. Yeah. It's from my, uh, it's from my alma mater. What? Yeah, it's, Jinx? It's, it's no, uh, University of Illinois. Oh, sorry. I thought it was high school alma mater. <laughs> I was like, I say I went back. Wow, it really goes back. No, uh, my college alma mater. That tells so. you how well I know Jacob, but I, I went back to his high school <laughs> you alma mater. You did. I was yeah. actually really impressed that you did that. So my high school al- alma mater, yeah. but my it's college, college deal. Alma, okay. alma mater. So University, University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. Wow. That, they are the ones that started the, the B Blitz. Wow. So 
Yeah. That's great. And I was like, hey, go Illini. Yeah. Um, fighting Illini. Yeah. So I, I jumped off the list just to talk about the Bee Blitz. But then this next one, it's one that, uh, you know, we're, of course, always supporting. Provide always. trees for bees. Oh, we're big on trees. Big hey, on trees here. Just a little, just, uh, yeah. just I'm going to take it, I'm going to go sideways here. Okay. And little, next, we, ne- we never do that on this show. Next year, mm-hmm. are we, are we going to try to get potted Christmas trees? I, actually, that came up at yeah. Christmas time. Yeah. So, you know, I have a fake that I've had for the past couple of years. Yeah, yeah. So we put it together, and I was like, you know, once this thing yeah. is past its life, and yeah. or, or at a place where um, it is done, so yeah, then I I, I want to do a potted tree. Yeah. I, I, well, because here's I was thinking it would be f- like a fun thing for the podcast and for yeah. for the world if we if we do the potted trees and then we set them up and then when it's over and then we document and how it we, goes down. Yeah, uh, we do, we show our our because we're gonna do a gorilla planting where we yes sneak we it, are yeah where we sneak it by, and gorilla planting is where we wear gorilla costumes yes, and plant the tree and plant the tree Good. exactly Good. Good. exactly Great. Uh, same page yeah no uh, yeah, yeah right like and uh, we Absolutely. plant it we plant it where we want to plant it. And just, oh uh, yeah, oops, it's there now. I want to do so much more of that. I want to do so much more. Um, you and me out in the world planting trees, just being rogue environmentalists. Well, t- here's what we'll do. Okay, okay, tell let's, me what we'll do. Let's let's set it up around here so that other people can do the day job. Okay, and then we'll go on a on a worldwide adventure I with Clayton. This. I love this. Into the jungles. And I'll still mute him. I'll still rivers. lower his yeah, volume. Just a little bit. Just but, a little bit. You know, yeah. and, we'll, and we'll make him record us. Yes. And we'll just get we'll get into trouble saving the planet. Oh, I love that idea. Sound good? Sounds We'll be shirtless. Great. We'll have beards. <laughs> It'll be great. I can't wait. It's perfect. Yeah. Count me in. So, right. yes, we will. This next Christmas, let's do a potted tree that we can then replant. And then we'll, and then we'll grow yeah. a planet. I love it. Yeah. Deal. Deal. Yeah. In. Provided trees for bees. Uh, bees get most of their nectar from trees. When a tree blooms, it provides hundreds, if not thousands, of blossoms to feed from. So trees hmm. are not only a great food source for bees, but an essential habitat. So that is something you can do. If you have the ability to plant trees or get involved in an area that can plant more trees, that's very helpful to bees. Okay. That helps them thrive. Okay. okay. Plant, that's another, look, and we've been counting the trees. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the we've numbers. We've been counting, and they're going up. The numbers going up, folks. Mm-hmm. So let's, there's a let's lot of trees us, out let's there. Let's help us count more. Help that yeah. Johnny Appleseed yeah. Foundation do what it's got to do. Only you can help us count more trees. Yeah, that's right. That's the slogan. Mm-hmm. Um, up next, create a bee bath. A bee bath. Mm-hmm. It's nice. So like, what, that this, that's just it's, like, you put out a Cosmo, but this time yeah, you, you put, put water in the glass? Light, light some candles. Yeah. And put on put Cosmo. Some, put some bubbles. Put some Enya on. And you just mm-hmm. bite the bee to just take a bath. And just put a soap. Some, some red soap. A bath bomb. Bath bomb. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> some, Bees. Some wax. <laughs> Bees work up quite a thirst foraging and yeah. collecting nectar. Fill a shallow bird bath or bowl with clean water. Okay. And arrange pebbles and stones inside so they can break the water's surface. Okay. Bees will land on the stones and pebbles to take long, refreshing drinks. Really? Mm-hmm. There you go. <sighs> you know what's so funny? <laughs> what? It never occurred to me. I mean, obviously, everything drinks, but it just yeah. never... I thought that, isn't that funny, those little thoughts? Did, yeah. That, that a bee would be thirsty? It didn't occur to me that like, a bee might be <laughs> having a long day, man. Out there running around, <laughs> pollinating. Yeah. Doing his, yeah, doing his thing, buzzing yeah. about, and he's like, guy man, some water. I am thirsty right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. And I know, I know that the, you know, we did a uh, Tuesday tip a couple of weeks ago <laughs> and I was talking about, um, ways that you could collect rainwater collection. Yeah. And one of our, uh, our listeners was like, well, be careful because mosquitoes, you know, like you, you have a pool of water and yeah. that's where they lay their eggs and all that stuff. Yeah. And so that, that is something to factor in. If you Absolutely. have a pools of water, it can cause more mosquitoes, but they, they say in this arrange pebbles and stones inside. So they break the water surface. So I think that might possibly help with the or yeah, maybe not. I mean, I think it's more safe somewhere to land. Yeah, you know, because because like, if they've got if they've got a pebble to land on, then they can. They're, yeah. Because how many times have you had to pull a bee out of a pool? Yes. Because it's he's so drowning, true. Right. Bees are always in pools. Yeah. Probably because yeah. they're thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So you put the pebble down, and then that breaks yeah. the surface, so they can land on the pebble, and then they can drink the water. They can drink, and then they can survive, and they can get out of there. They can get out of it's there. It's like a little 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 little, little raft. Little hack. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a little pebble raft. Yeah. But so so, so no, then I you mean, combat I, it with maybe mixing up the water, right? Like you, yeah, mi- or you just you were, you freshen it up, freshen it up. You know, don't let the mosquito Look, lay their eggs there. Mosquitoes, it takes like you have to leave 
a pool of water for, for quite a while for larva to, to yeah. grow and yeah. turn into a whole bunch of mosquitoes. Yeah. So, so just freshen it up. If you just, you know, if you get it out there for a week, it's no big deal. Yeah. There's, it's not gonna, you're not going to cause it. There you go. Yeah. There you go. It's, it's those people who like, like where you have a, an outdoor pool that you've left there for like all of the summer and, and, and then like you, you suddenly wake up and you go outside and be like, oh, crap, there's, there's, mos- yeah. there's mosquitoes, mosquitoes everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, it's because nobody yeah. swam in the pool and nobody freshened up the water uh, exactly. or anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, outdoor pool. I say outdoor pool. Yeah, you I said... Mean, yeah, that's, I mean, every, I they're all meant. outdoor pools. I think, you know, the, there the, are the, indoor pools, and no? That's, oh, that's true, but just, I don't have one. Yeah, we, we don't have one. Yeah. Uh, there are indoor the, pools. You know, just the inflatable temporary yeah. pools is what I mean. All right, I'm ready for the next mm-hmm. one? Build homes for native bees. Wow. Uh, you want me to read this one? Wow. See what I mean? Because build homes. Build I, homes I, I for know. native bees so they don't, they don't want to go back to the hive? Well, let's see. Did you know that with the exception of honeybees, so every other bee besides honeybees, yeah. most bees are solitary creatures. Whoa. I did not know that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when your reactions are <laughs> like like I just dropped some serious knowledge. <laughs> That's a great piece of knowledge. Yeah. yeah. No, well, because I know that there are like thousands of types of bees. There are. You know, I think they're organized in like six or seven different categories, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. But I had no idea because I know that the Western honeybee is like the most famous bee. That's the bee that most people think of. Right. But one of the few bees that actually produces honey. Right. So I, 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 this stuff I know. Yes. But I thought that they were mostly. All of them communal. You know, communal. All love that, hanging they, out. that they had yeah. their, their queen bee and that the queen bee made the bees yeah. and that they would go to business and come back home. And yeah, apparently that's not. That's not the case no. for most. 70% of solitary bees live underground while 30% live in holes inside of trees or hollow stems. Species like bumblebees build their nests in undisturbed land, yeah. and you can provide safe haven for them by leaving an untouched plot of land for them in your garden. Bee condos, which have small tube apartments, so you can have a whole housing so district. Just set up a whole like <laughs> a whole, a whole condo. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You you develop pull a, pull a market down there. Yeah, you know, a Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, you know, like a whole some little newspapers bee, in the corner. Bee neighborhood down there. Yeah, yeah exactly. So you can do that just by having. So it, it just says. Uh, bee condos, which have small tube apartments, allow species like mason bees to take up residence. They're easy to make or purchase or sponsor a hive program, places solitary bee homes and gardens. Do they pay rent? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's and honey. To start a business. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you can build that in your yard. I okay. It. Okay. All right. Am I get? Is this going on too long? Should I kind of speed it up here? I'm should, fascinated. Okay. I think we just do this list and call it a day. Okay. I mean, this is fantastic. Give beehives and native bee homes. This seems a little repetitive. It just says, uh, keep honeybees, nurture native bees, or help gardens and schools around the U.S. and Canada grow food and strengthen local environments. But do so. not help in Europe, yeah. Australia, it, yeah. Africa, yes. Asia. Just here. Or Antarctica. Yeah. Or not, South America. It says in the U.S. and Canada only. only. So if you live anywhere <laughs> else in the world, forget those then bees. Ignore man. the bees. So yeah, bee conservancy. <laughs> you guys watch your very, <laughs> very specific... <laughs> <laughs> Got to look out for bees around the world. Global, we're going to start the Global Bee Society. Maybe we need to start we look a Global out for, Bee Society because yeah. I feel like this is a little bit, you know. It's a little tilted. A little bit. Mm, like, come on. Ooh, it's 2021, Yeet. guys. Jeez. Okay, then this one says, teach tomorrow's bee stewards. Inspire the next generation of eco-citizens with guides, lessons, activities to get them buzzed about bees. This is basically like pass down this wisdom. We're doing it. So right now. We're following that step. We're doing it. That's amazing. We are making bees. We're the stewards. best. We are <laughs> best. <laughs> uh, uh, second to last. Second to last. Uh, host a fundraiser. Fundraiser. Yeah. For bees. Now, now we gotta raise money for bees. <laughs> I thought I thought they paid us. I feel us like for, I'm really doing a lot here I with the they bees. paid us for the condos. Uh, host a so, fundraiser uh, online or do something you love to help. Uh, and this is the hashtag. Okay. Hashtag be the solution. Be the solution. Yep. I'll tell you what. Instead of doing a fundraiser, I won't okay. charge rent for the condo. That's how fine. About, yeah. How about yeah. does that? Rent forgiveness? Yeah, rent, yeah. Especially right now. I mean, there's probably because there's bees a lot are, of out of work bees. Yeah. I mean, because yeah. the economy's a disaster. Yeah. So just right now, I'll tell you what. Tell you what. Hmm. They don't owe you rent for 2020 or most of 2021. Right. But in 2022, they have to pay you both. All the background. All <laughs> At once. All It'll, it's going to work out the great. Background. Great. That's good. No, fundraisers for bees. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. We can yeah. support that. We'll find it. We'll find a we'll bee. Find, let's, let's, let's do a bee organization that we'll we can. We'll find something. We'll give them some. We'll drop I some. I like that. 
drop like, some dollars. I like that a lot. Yeah. And the last thing was support local beekeepers and organizations. Uh, that's that's great. Yeah. So farmers yeah. markets, go buy some local honey. Local honey. You know what I mean? Yeah, the real thing. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. The last thing I was going to say. This has been terrific. You got to leave it open though, because I, is it neonicanoids? Huh? Neonic, neonic. Yes. Hold on. Let me find the word. We have to because. Because that's a good one. Okay. But before we get out of here, I do have one other cool okay. piece of information. Okay. okay. But um, let me read. Neonic. Neonic. I'm going to have you look at it. Okay. Look at number two under chemical free for bees. Okay. While I do that, okay. you should say the last, the last thing. When we talked about colony collapse disorder on our last one, we talked about veromites, which were these mites, and they were the ones causing the problem. But scientists have already started to breed bees that can be tolerant to the veromites. So that's happening. So this whole veromite problem, they're figuring out ways to breed bees that can endure it. Really? So this col- colony collapse disorder, we might be able to beat this thing. Okay. So really? I thought it was a good piece of news. So yeah. wait, so the co- really? Yeah, that's the great. veramite. They, so so back in the nineties, a scientist said this, and they said we should just uh, breed bees to to be able to tolerate against the veramite, right? Yeah. And this person said that's in, that's impossible. They said that's like breeding sheep that can't be attacked by wolves. <laughs> you right. know, like that's that's impossible. Right. But we've gotten so far with the research now and our ability to to really, you know drill into the, the study and figure out how to do it, but they're, they're starting to accomplish it. So Well, pretty soon you just give this sheep, you know, t- sharper teeth and, and <laughs> better... Switch better, blades? Better horns for the, for the dudes. Switch, Switch blades Switch hands. Blades. <laughs> give them, <laughs> Come this way, wolf. <laughs> we turn them into robot yeah, sheep. Or just robot like, sheep. Destroy. Exactly. Uh, but anyway, that was, a, that was a kind of a cool piece of uh, information that I read while I was researching that I was like, hey, good news. It's not, I'm not saying the veramite problem is solved. If you're a beekeeper right now and you're like, oh, it's still a big problem. Yes, it's still a big problem. But there's research being done and, and, and progress being made. Nice. So that was good news. That's great news. Bees. So now, now that I'm reading it, I think it's neonicotinoids. N- neonicotinoids? Yeah. Neonicotinoids. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Neonicotinoids. Neonicotinoids. Okay. So no more neonicotinoids. No more neon- neonicotinoids. <laughs> it's so hard to say, but we're doing it. We're doing it. I'm so glad you remembered. Yeah. Okay. I don't want that one to go. It's Mm-mm. too It's too us. Okay. It's too good. We are your beacon of light in a gloomy environment. Fighting to stop neonicotinoids. <laughs> Fighting to stop <laughs> neonicotinoids. Right? Is that good? Yeah. That good? I like yeah. it. Fighting to stop neonicotinoids. Okay. That is a word that I feel like you could warm up your speech. Like if you're about to pre- present, yeah. you'd be like, neonicotinoids, neonicotinoids. neonicotinoids. <laughs> that is a tough one. It is. Yeah, but I love it. It's way harder than a unique New York. Way harder. Yeah. Red leather, yellow leather, <laughs> red leather, yellow leather. <laughs> she stood upon the balcony. No, anyway. Uh, <laughs> remember all these? Uh, yes. Yeah. I mean, no, but yes, I yes. do now. Yeah. I remember, yeah, she stood upon the balcony, mimicking uh, and hiccuping and amicably welcoming them in. Uh, um, these are theater warm-ups, guys. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That was a great, great show. And uh, like we did it. I thought it was the bee's knees. We solved bees. It was, it was beneficial. It, it was the beneficial. Bees knees. Yeah. That was the bee's knees. Yeah. Should we yeah. call it that? Should we call? Yeah, we should call it the bee's knees. The bee's knees. Yeah. I think that'd be good. The bee's knees. That's it. Well, thanks, everybody. Thanks. And, uh... Bye! Bio-friendly podcast, it's the Bio-friendly podcast.